312 now, Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Jason Endicott filling in for T Cats this week, who is uh, out on vacation celebrating a birthday. I'm not even sure where she's at. T Cats, if you're listening. Happy birthday. We've got a really cool event coming up this weekend in Old Town New Hall. It's the fifth annual classic car show. And in the studio live with us to talk about it right now is Sue Bird from Atna. And uh, you and I know what that uh, what that uh, acronym means, Sue, but some people don't. What is ATNA? ATNA stands for Old Town New Hall Association. And you are the ones who are responsible for putting on these great events that we see. Yes, we are hosting the 5th Annual Classic Car Show. I think I was broadcasting at this uh, event a few years ago. I you could have been. Yeah, either the first or the second time that it was, yes. that it was around, probably. Yeah. This is a, it's a, a huge event. It's grown, I think, every year that it's, that it's gone on. Talk to me about how it got started and what people see when they go to the event. Well, it got started as a way of showcasing the uh, improvements, the revitalization that the city and the property owners and the merchants have put in to Old Town New Hall Associate. And we decided that this would be a great tie-in, classic cars, Old Town New Hall being one of our founding areas of this valley. Mm -hmm. So we just uh, five years ago started out rather small and now we're up to 200 cars and about three to 4,000 spectators. So 200 cars come and and I imagine we see everything under the sun as far as different types of vehicles, right? Yes, we do. We have uh, a three... Um, we have an electric car. We have a 1951 uh, one-ton pumper fire truck coming this time. We have Cobra, Cobras. Uh, we have the. Um, we just have a whole complete range. Anything I can't that, even. Ex yeah, I know. Uh, Everybody can yeah. come take and take a look at it. The uh, the people that own these cars, and I, I've seen the shows like Chasing Classic Cars, and mm -hmm. my, my father is really involved in in old cars and, and restoration, things like mm -hmm. that. These people have such pride of ownership in their vehicles. And it's uh, kind of amazing to go down. And a lot of times the owners of the vehicles are, you know, are near their vehicles. You can talk to them about what they did and how they've, how they've restored it and get the history behind the vehicle. So it's, it's not as, even if you aren't a, an automotive buff, you can get a lot out of this experience as a, as with an interest in history or anything, really. Yeah. There's, been, there's lots of cars that have been passed on from father to son. And now the son is, uh, investing in it and restoring it further right. you know so it's it's really the guys and the ladies like to talk about what they've done to the cars what they're going to do to their cars you know now is it, are people still able to enter their vehicles if they want to show off their car at the event yes they are still we have a limited amount of space still um, i would suggest that you go to atna.org and uh, click on the uh, poster for the car show and go through Eventbrite to order. Yeah, you can just uh, purchase your entry right online, which makes it very easy. OTNA.org is uh, the website to do that and uh, for any other uh, information that you want about the car show. It's coming up this Sunday. Starts at 9 a.m. For spectators, right. cars are starting to uh, enter Main Street at 7 a.m. Right, so the cars need to get there earlier to set up to right. be ready for people when they come. 9 to 2 is when the, uh, the event goes on. And uh, uh, it, I imagine a lot of those uh, businesses along uh, along Main Street will be open for the duration as well, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Many uh, many of the businesses will be opening a little earlier to accommodate the visitors, you know, so they can come on down and have breakfast at the way station as always. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> Just don't tell your cardiologist. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then of, of course you can have lunch down there. There's there's restaurants and things. El like Trocadero. That. There's uh, New Hall the, Refinery. Refi the refinery. Yeah. So uh, there's the Persian lounge mm -hmm. so we have a wide variety and this is just one of uh, many events that you all do throughout the year i mean i know that you do uh, uh, uh events down there i mean on thursdays there's always something going on it seems like on a on a thursday evening the city of santa Clarita partners with with you all and mm -hmm. you put on some great events like census things like that census tonight right uh, that's going on tonight that's right British Invasion, so right. come on down. Very cool. To Main Street. And, uh, yeah, things tied in with the Cowboy Poetry Festival. I've seen all sorts of stuff down in right. New Hall. And if you haven't been, had a chance to go down there and uh, either check out the theater or, 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 or shop around down there or have uh, dinner or lunch or breakfast at one of the restaurants, you need to get down there and check it out. I spent a lot of time down there and, and really enjoy it. So. it yeah, it's changed a lot. A lot of people haven't been down to visit it in a while, and they're always surprised about all the new stores that come in and places mm -hmm. to eat, and the, of course the theaters mm -hmm. are down there. So. so a perfect opportunity for you to check it out this Sunday, starting from 9 a.m. until 2 o'clock, the 5th Annual Classic Car Show put on by the Old Town New Hall 
Association, otna.org, O-T-N-A.org for more information. Or just come on down to Main Street in Old Town New Hall this Sunday morning and uh, check it out. Sue Bird, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the details, and we'll see you out there. Okay. And I'll, let me also mention, of course, this event is free for spectators. Come on down. You don't have to pay anything to uh, come down and look at the cars. Yes. That's, and a, that's important. Yeah. yeah, it is. You know, And I'd like to thank our sponsors, the city. Of course. And Galpin of SCV and the many other sponsors. There's a... A variety of sponsors that yes. really are the ones who are able or make it able to uh, to put the event on. Like right, so. they are our community backbone. Very good, we appreciate it. Thank you, Sue. <laughs>powerhouse fire continues to blaze and 30 homes have been destroyed hello i'm george cummings with your scv news break <laughs> <laughs>